everybody, welcome to Franny Square. Today I'm going to be reviewing this wig by Raquel Welsh. It's called Unfiltered in the color Golden Walnut. First, I want to say a great big thank you to Chicwell. They sent me this wig for review and the only conditions, you know, I want to tell you about the company and what they asked for. The only conditions they had were that I mentioned that they sent it to me and I put a link in the description to their website. So I will be doing that. Other than that, the review contents are up to me. And I love a company that has that kind of confidence. So I'm just going to get right into the review of this beautiful wig. When Cheekwell contacted me, they said, pick out any wig that you've been dying to try. And I have been dying to try this wig by Raquel Welsh called Unfiltered. And I'll tell you why. You probably know right now that I like an A-line stacked bob. And by that, I mean it's shorter in the back, longer in the front, and the back has you know, some stacking to give it some body. So this is, as you can see, shorter in the back and longer in the front, and it has some wave. Normally I get straight styles, but I was dying to try one with some wave, not really curly, but some nice body and wave. And wow, this just fits the bill. I am so excited about this wig. I typically choose colors that are warm. I feel like they go better with my face. So this color RL11 slash 25 golden walnut fits the bill. It has golden highlights, as you can see, and medium brown, all put together so beautifully. I just love this color. Now, if you're an ashy person, you're not going to want this color. This is definitely gold, and you can see that really in the front here. So let's talk about the wig. First of all, this is from the Sheer Indulgence line, and it has a lace front and a monofilament top, which I will be showing you when I take the cap off. It's heat-friendly. It's the true-to-life fiber, and you can use heat tools with heat that goes up to 180 degrees Celsius. And I believe that's about up to 356 degrees Fahrenheit. With a heat friendly wig, you will want to use heat occasionally to just keep the fibers looking good. So if they start to fray a little bit or frizz, you'll want to use a heat tool just to keep the fibers looking nice. Now I haven't done anything to her. I've basically taken her out of the box, shook her up a little bit and used my comb just to get her off my face so that I could talk to you. <laughs> so um, let me take her off and we'll look at the cap and all the features and then we'll come back and talk a little bit more about her. Here's the cap. She has a temple to temple lace front. Her lace fronts are done so beautifully. And when I put it back on, I'll show you a close up of the lace front. Then she has the monofilament top here, so you can part it anywhere in here. You can change the part. Open wefting, and she has this silicone on these pieces here, and that's to give you a more custom fit and to fit your head more snugly. It's called a memory cap. She has the velvet ear tabs, which is such a nice material, and there are metal stays, and the metal stay goes from here to here, and again, I'll show you on my head where the ear tab comes to and where the metal stay is. An extended nape in the back, also with the velvet, and Velcro adjusters. And let's just look at the stretch in the wefting. Yeah, it has a decent amount of stretch. All right, so I'll put her back on. We'll take a look at the lace front. <clears throat> Okay, Let me just put her up here. So I'll just show you closely. She has the highlights, which I really like, coming to the hairline there, which helps to hide any of the uh, knots because it is lighter. And it just looks like the hair is coming out of your head. Her lace fronts are amazing. I really do like them. Look at that. You could pull your hair back. I would probably pull a few hairs out like that. That'd be really pretty. Now let's look at the part. 
So there is the monofilament part. Looks very natural. And if I wanted to part it somewhere else, let's just, you can see there that I can part it anywhere on that top. And you can see it looks like a natural part wherever I pull it apart. That's great. I love that option. Okay, so let's look at her ear tabs. So the ear tabs, let me just make sure they're even. Yeah. Her ear tabs are actually a little bit higher on me. So they come to here. See if you can see my ear there. They come to here and the metal stay is to here. So you can use that to secure it to your head. And because my hair color is in this wig, I might even pull out some of my hairs here and make it look a little bit more natural. This is an average size cap and I put it on without adjusting. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference head and it fits me just fine. I don't even think I have to adjust it, but you can adjust it with the adjusters. I would say this would fit a petite to average size head. I can't be sure, but I don't think it would fit a large head. Okay, so let's talk measurements. The front is 10 inches. So let's look at that. That looks about right. I'm eight and a half inches from forehead to chin. The crown is nine inches. The sides are six inches. Let me get a side piece here. Yeah. That seems about right. The back, seven and a half inches, and the nape, three and a half inches. So with the front being 10 inches and the back seven and a half, I get that look I like where it's shorter in the back and longer in the front. I think that's such a great style for so many face shapes. This weighs 3.75 ounces, so it's not particularly heavy. Okay, so I'm gonna spin for you. And I got a comment from Dee saying, you don't have to say, front, left, back, we got it. So I'm just spinning. <laughs> okay, it's hard for me not to talk. I just love the way the waves are done in this wig. I think it's so beautiful. Okay, so let's check it out with glasses. I'm gonna put it under the ear tabs. So for me, it doesn't really have to go under the ear tabs because I showed you before the ear tab ends here, my glasses start here. So not an issue at all. Again, it depends on the shape of your head, but I'm trying to give you an idea. Now, if I go over ear tabs, to do that, I'd probably be changing the angle of the glasses. So let me know if you think me trying on the glasses is actually helping you or not. And I know that these things vary for every individual, but I'm trying to give you as much information as possible. Okay, so I'm gonna go take this outside so you can see the color in daylight. Okay, so the sun is not behind me this time, so hopefully this is helpful in seeing the color here. And hopefully you can see the gold highlights and the medium brown that's in there. The sun keeps going in and out anyway, so hopefully you're getting a good look at the color. I'll try to go around my head. I don't have a selfie stick. I should get one. Hopefully you can see. Such a pretty color. Okay, so I'm gonna try styling this a little bit, see what I can do, but I'll tell you, I would just love to throw this on and go. I love, they call this a lob, I guess it's a long bob, and I just love the shape, the angle, everything about it. All right, I'm gonna try to style it a little bit. Remember, if you wanna purchase this wig, or really any other wig, I'll have a link to Chicwell in the description below. I was just on their website. It looks like they have a few specials going, free shipping over, I think it's $100, a free gift over $100. I don't know what the gift is. I just popped on to check it out so I could tell you what's happening as of the filming of this video. I have to say that things may change over time. All right, I'm gonna go style this a little bit. <music> Okay.
Okay, so I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any questions at all, put them in the comments below. Also, let me know what you think of this wig in general and what you think of it for me. I always love hearing your comments. Also, feel free to send any questions you have to my email address at frannysquare at gmail.com. I will get back to you as quickly as I can. As always, thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate it. Remember to make it your own, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>